Mediated communication is one of the many forms of interpersonal communications known. It is communication between individuals that is conducted via technological channels, such as email, chat rooms, texting, and instant messaging. One place I like to visit for mediated communication is GaiaOnline.com. Gaia Online is a forum-based website, meaning that you can create a thread of any discussion you want to communicate and talk or chat with the people there. Gaia Online is an effective form of mediated communication because it demonstrates emotional expression, identity management, and relational development. Lots of people have a hard time expressing their emotions, but mediated sources can make this easier. The internet has proven to be an effective way for reticent communicators to make contact. I relate to this personally as I was very shy in my homeschooling days. Gaia Online offered a safe, for the most part, mediated area to communicate with peers and express my emotions with like-minded people. And there's always a lot of fun emoticons to express some of these feelings. Though Gaia's creators are from San Jose, California, this website has attracted people from all over the world. Emotional expression is different for everyone. But as there are over a million registered users, you can usually find someone to relate to, no matter what holds you back in real life interpersonal communication. For example, your culture by country and gender as well. The other nice thing about Gaia Online is you have the option to block people, making Gaia a relatively comfortable site to express yourself. This brings us to identity management. Identity management consists of strategic communication designed to influence others' perceptions of an individual, which aims at presenting to others one or more faces. You can also think of this as impression management. Among being a forum-based website, Gaia Online is also very social-based. When you start out, the first thing you do is create your avatar. Gaia offers a lot of varieties to start the basis of your Gaian identity by race, hair and eye color, and gender. Next is the creation of a username. A username can do a lot for first impressions on this site. Mine is Shiblets. Now to most, this has absolutely no significance, but if you ask me how I created it, I would tell you it is the name of a currency in a town my friends made in their backyard. To some, you may get the impression that I like to play make-believe games, or just that I like to make up weird words. Once you've established your base identity, you have the creativity to dress up your avatar. I think this can say a lot about your identity. Maybe you are an angelic person, maybe you have a bit of a dark side, or maybe you're just feeling entirely out of this world. There is no limit to expressing your identity through how you choose to appear on Gaia Online. But there is more to Gaia than just an avatar. Here you decide how others will perceive you. Communicating through mediated channels generally gives us more control over managing impressions than we have in face-to-face -face communication. When you speak in real life, you only get one chance to word your messages. On Gaia Online, you get the option to erase and edit your messages on forum posts. For example, say you were angry one day and you take it out on somebody in a thread. If this person read the message, they could get a very cold idea of who you are. But if you catch this after you post it and realize that this is not how you want to come off to somebody, you have the option to click the delete button above your post. You ultimately choose what your identity is online, but Gaia offers you a lot of ways to express it and to create the kind of relationships with people you desire. Many people still think that you cannot develop relationships online like you do in real life. If you take a look at Mark Knapp's research and relational stage models, you will find that most or all of the 10 stages listed are possible online. The 10 stages are initiating, experimenting, intensifying, bonding, differentiating, circumscribing, stagnating, avoiding, and terminating. Now, as Knapp describes, not everyone reaches all parts of these stages. I have learned through Gaia Online that it's possible for people to develop relationships and that these stages have applied to most of my initiations in conversation, which is conveniently the first stage. I have met people on Gaia that have been through every single one of these stages, but I will only cover the first three. Initiating is pretty easy to comprehend. On Gaia, it is as easy as posting a message in a random thread. In real life, this is a very hard thing for me to do as a shy person, and though I'm timid online as well, it's easier. Once you have initiated a conversation in a thread, the next stage is experimenting. As an example, when I first joined Gaia, I wasn't very knowledgeable about the site. I eventually found my way into a charity thread. 
I began the initiation process and eventually found myself in the experimenting stage. This is the getting to know you stage, as I'd like to think it. I began to know many of the members a lot more closely than I previously had. A few years later, I got to the intensifying stage. Three of us were discussing the creation of this thread and how long we all known each other. It was then that we all began to become closer friends. The intensifying stage is when you start discussing how you feel about the other. They had become my guy and family. As they were all older than me, I relied on them for advice, and when anybody was feeling down, we'd all offer as much support as we could. Gaia Online has proven a very useful website for mediated communication. It has helped me develop relationships with people I never would have met in real life while expressing an identity that is controlled by me. Online virtual worlds aren't for everyone, but Gaia Online has definitely been a great find for me. And there is always games when you get tired of all the interpersonal communicating.